Hello and welcome to the Walking Dead All Out War, the core set missions, tutorial part 2, surviving on your own. This mission is set up on a 20 inch by 20 inch play area, and it's for two players, so this is a versus game. One person taking control of Rick and Carl, and the other person taking control of Derek's gang, so Derek, Sandra and Patrick. And then there are seven walkers that start on the board for this mission. The winner is the player who holds the most supply counters when the threat tracker reaches maximum. If either player is wiped out before this happens, their opponent wins by default. If both players have the same number of counters, the game is a draw. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Turn one. And Rick has got a niche. So Rick, activating first. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, there, and I'm gonna shoot that one. Four with a headshot. Now the walker gets one defense die and one extra red die for shooting over a barrier. One shot, one kill. There goes the first walker. Causes mayhem. Puts the threat tracker up by one. And now we've got to check to see who's within 10. It's just the one walker by the police car that needs to shamble six inches towards Rick Grimes. That's both of Rick's activations. And I'm a roll test. So now I'm gonna activate Patrick and hold my nerve, which I do to put the threat tracker back down to one. And then I'm gonna run him around the barrier four inches to clear the barrier and then three inches towards the car just so I can make some noise and pull that walker towards me. A call to activate. Sneak to there, shoot that one. Got three and the walker has two red dice for defense. Two, it's dead. It's dead, that walker is dead. And now for Carl's ammo roll. Yeah, he's fine. Yes. Mayhem. So that's two in range. So that one's just going to shamble straight into the car. And that one is going to shamble straight into the barrier. Hmm. Well, now it's my turn to activate. And I'm going to activate Derek. And I'm just going to sneak him forward a couple of inches. And then take a shot. I want to shoot that walker right there. So I get two white dice for shooting. And I got three. And the walker gets two red dice to defend. One. So it's prone. prone. Also caused mayhem. That one's in combat, that one's out of range. So just this one is going to shamble into the barrier. And finally, I've got to activate Sandra, and I'm going to risk it. I'm going to run Sandra right towards that walker just so it makes noise and pulls the walker into me. Now we start the event phase, there's nobody in our kill zones and our first event card is won't stay down so all prone walkers get back up on a shield. We do have one prone walker, fails to roll, the walker's still prone. That's the end of the event phase. Combat and we'll start with Sandra, she has one red dice. And I rolled a one. And the walker got a 1, so it's a tie. So we just push that walker back. Next up is Patrick. He has one red and one white dice. Just got a 1. Rerolled it, got a blank. Walker has one dice and also got a blank. Patrick pushes the walker back and knocks him prone. And that is the end of Lee face. Now all we got to do is the end phase and see what walkers get up. The walker by walker by Patrick. Yeah. Yeah, and the walker by Sandra. Yeah. Yeah, they both get back up. And that is the end of turn one. 
So beginning of turn two, initiative now swaps over to Derek's gang. And we're going to start with activating Derek and I'm going to run him. Derek gets his guys to do the work. So I'm going to run him to here, which causes noise. And then that one shambles to here. And I'm also going to hold my nerve. I do indeed. Oops. That's why I do it in there. So that puts it back down to three. Alright, uh, Rick is going to sneak to there. Well, not sneak. He's going to run to there and run to there. And run to there and base contact. Okay. Mm. So that causes noise. This one is going to shamble. He's already touching the car, so it's just going to shamble straight into you. Yeah. Okay, and now for Sandra. Sandra isn't going to bother fighting. She's useless. She's going to sneak to the car. So Sandra's just going to sneak into base contact with the car and search it. So we'll take our first supply and we'll have an ammo reload. We'll put that on her. And now it's Carl to activate. All right, Carl is going to start by shooting this one. Okay, so what is it? Two dice? Yeah. You've yeah. got a headshot. Because the walker is behind the barrier, it gets an extra red dice in defence. So we just get two red dice. Okay, so that's another walker dead. Yes. Alright, and then for his next action... Hold on. We still got a check. No. In combat with Rick, so yeah, nothing... Carl is going to run to the very corner right here. In contact with that car. That's fine. You've got to roll for an ammo test. So have you run out of ammo? But Carl took the shot. Put a bullet right through the walker's eyes. But that was his last one. So he's now out of ammo. But it's fine because now I get to... Oh, wait, no, no get you've had your two actions. Right. It's time for me to activate Patrick. I'm going to sneak him into the sheriff car. And then I'm going to search. Now to put a supply card. Let's uh, see what I get. Well, I've got some bandages. And now we have to check the kill zones. Actually, you have to check Rick's mm -hmm. kill zone because if Carl is in his kill zone, he gets an extra red dice. And he's in the kill zone. If you look at it from the top angle, yeah, he is in the kill zone. Okay, so that walker goes into Derek. This walker goes into Patrick. And event card time. So event card number two. We've got Feeding Frenzy. We're at all quiet, just. And for each survivor engaged in melee, we've got to roll a die. So Rick first. He's fine. Patrick. Didn't lose a health point. And Derek. Derek hasn't lost a health point. And now it's time to move on to the melee. I've got a niche, so I'm going to start with Derek. But instead of fighting, I'm going to shoot my handgun. Two white dice. This is where you run out of ammo. I've got the headshot. So, uh, yeah, the walker is dead. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The walker's still dead. So I've killed that walker. Ran out of ammo test. And I've got to do an ammo test. And, and I've run out of ammo. But because I shot, I still caused mayhem. So that walker has got to shamble straight towards me. Okay, we move on to the next melee. Patrick has one white and one red. And I've only got a one, but I can re-roll the red dice. So I've got two damage. Walker got the one, pushed back, and knocked prone. And finally, we'll move on to Rick's combat. He has one white, one red. 
So he has one white melee dice and one because Carl's in his kill zone. Two. So he's got two, and the walker has one defense dice. One. So. Back in action. Prone. So knock back and knock down. End phase. Walkers. The walker by Rick gets back up, and the walker by Patrick gets back up. Both walkers get back up. That's the end of turn two. Fret track is at five. Let's move on to turn three. Okay, so Rick and Carl get the initiative back. Oh, meaning it's me first? Yep. All right, going to search that one with Rick. And What'd you get? An ammo reload. All right, I'm going to shoot that one right there. Okay, so... Second action, which gives me these three dice. Two wow. headshots and a one. I don't think the walker can survive that. Roll the walker dice just for the hell of it. How did I get a one with the blue dice and two headshots with the red? <laughs> well, that walker has been completely annihilated. Firing your gun has caused mayhem. Threat tracker up by one. And this walker moves directly towards Rick. But it's going to stop in base contact with Patrick. No tests for Rick. It's reliable. What does that mean? You get to re-roll it. Oh, cool. Okay, so I'm going to activate Derek. And I think I'm just going to run him straight past the walker up towards the supply crate. But not all the way. Just to about here. Obviously, that's going to make noise. And drag the walker shambling straight into base contact with me. So that's Derek's activation done. And now we move back to Carl. Carl, because that walker is now in contact and so is the other one, I can easily oh wait actually. Search that first. You're gonna you're gonna search first. <laughs> okay, so Carl searched and he's got another gun. What? An old gun? That's oh. the exact same as last time. Okay. And then I'm going to run up to this one in contact. That ends your activation phase, so my final character to activate is Sandra. For my first action, I'm just going to sneak towards the supply crate, and then I'm going to search it. And the supply that Sandra gets... Ah, oh, she's got a decent weapon. Oh. She's got a tire iron. So I will be putting that on. Very nice. I like that. I'd rather had you, you have the gun. I, I need that. But that's everyone activated. Now for the event stage, we start with the kill zones, but all walkers are in combat. So we'll move on to the event card. And we've got frayed nerves. So it's still all quiet and low threat. Any model with low nerve, I haven't got a low nerve. Nope. Then it adds plus one to the fret level. And we move on to the melee stage, which also adds plus one to the fret level. So we're now up to fret level eight. You've got a niche. I don't have anyone in combat. Well, I will start with Patrick. Let's see if he can get rid of that one. One white, one red. And two damage. So he right. wins again. Just. Knocks him back an inch. This is in contact with the uh, and prone. And finally, I've got Derek that has to take on his own walker. He hasn't got a handgun. One white. It's out of ammo, so one white. I got a two, to a blank. Derek wins his combat, so he knocks the walker back and down. So we we'll just put a prone counter there. And now we're back on to the end turn. So we just got to check to see which walkers get up. Walker by Patrick and Carl gets back up. And Walker by Derek doesn't get back up. So just that one to get back up. And that brings us to the end of turn three. Threat tracker is at eight. Okay, so start of turn four. I will be taking back a niche. And I'm going to start with... Sandra. Sandra is going to pass Derek the ammo reload. And for her second action, I'm going to run to that supply crate. 
So that's Sandra's action. Who are you doing? I'm doing Rick, and I'm going to take Rick and run him up to about about there, which will bring that one directly into me. Which will make noise, so it will go into Patrick again. Yep, instead of me. And for my second action, I'm going to shoot Patrick. You can't. Why not? You're out of ammo. I'll, I'll use my ammo reload. There you go. Okay, so you've just shoot. used your ammo reload I'll and you've reloaded. Reload. <laughs> okay, um, well, that means I've got nothing I can do with Patrick. So Derek is going to run straight to the car. No walkers, so he's going to search for his second action. And he gets a metal pipe. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, I don't... And now it's Carl. I'm What's... going to search this supply drop to start with. All right, what'd you get? In? What have you got? I called it. What have you got? What did I say I'd get for you? Oh, lurker, probably. Yeah, yeah <laughs> lurker. Go on then. Is this how much damage it does? Two dice, yeah. Oh, you got a bite, so you've got what one, one defense? You need it you need to roll crit, you need to roll two. Oh, ain't you lucky? Right, oh. so Yeah, no, that's your first action. You searched it. Yep. There and was then nothing. I'm going to Oh, it doesn't matter if I sneak or not. I'm gonna run over to that one. And that is <coughs> all the actions that we can take already. Yep. So we're going to go straight for an event card. <coughs> and the event card is too quiet. So it's plus one to the threat. Medium threat. We're now on medium threat. So that's add another two. Add another two. One. Two. We're up right, to 11. So we're up to 11. There is one person in combat. So we're up to 12. And the same walker that's been fighting Patrick forever... Can Patrick actually kill it this time? Yes! Yes! That walker that's been there since the beginning has now been killed. Um, it's the end phase already. What a quick turn. Roll the dice for the prone walker. Does it get back up? Nope. No, he doesn't. He stays prone. And that is the end of turn four. Right, so the beginning of turn five, you can take the Anish back. Thank you very much. Right, I am going to use Rick to run that to that way. And six up here. Is it that? Mm. No, I'll go this side. Okay. And then for my second action, I'm going to shoot Sandra. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's mayhem, so. Well, our threat level is now 13. I got these three dice. Only two damage. I've got one defense dice, no crits. I defended one. I only took one damage. So where is she? Down to three. I'll handle that. <clears throat> and now I am going to, because there's only one prone walker, so mayhem doesn't really matter at this moment in time. Um, I'm going to... Stop Carl from uh, taking that. I'm going to run. I'm going to run Patrick straight into the back of Carl. But so Rick can't join in though. Um, and because I've done that, <coughs> you can't activate Carl. So I'm going to now activate. Sandra, I'm going to take that and I'm going to search it so I get oh some bandages. And I'm going to use those bandages straight away. One action, search it. One action, use the... And I'm back up to four health. And finally, I'm going to sneak, really. Derek, next to her. And for his second action, I'm going to use his ammo reload and put some 
bullets back in my revolver. Which is now the end of um, our action phase. So now, event cards. Kill zones, doesn't matter. Event card, what have we got? Ooh. Plus two One. to the threat, so we're up to... 15. 15. Panic dice time. And medium mm. threat, the high threat. Yeah. So, two blue dice of walkers enter play. I don't know. Oh, well Six walkers and a blade. Why have you done that? How? Why? why in in why? addition, all prone walkers immediately stand up. That so one, that yeah. one's um, immediately stood up. Oh my goodness. We have six walkers. Surely I'll get to pick them. Six walkers have to enter play, and you put your first one down. We take in turns, one at a time. Right, so you've got a nesh. I'll do my first one. Remember, they enter play and then they walk straight towards the nearest survivor. Okay, this one right there. Okay. Okay, yeah. mine. I'm gonna take this one and place it right, right here on the back. You won't be able to get to Rick, but you'll have to do. Is it a shamble? Is it? Yeah. Next one. Mm -hmm. I'll do a second one here. I'm gonna put. Another one here. It's gonna head straight towards Rick. I'm gonna put my last one right there. Yeah, I'm going to the club. And the sixth mm -hmm. one, I'm gonna have to put here as well. I was in the center. Because this is basically all I can do. But now, <coughs> all of them have to shamble straight in. So the first one. Right, next two. I'll do this one first. Shambles there. Shambles in contact with both of them, I think. Okay, so I've got to shamble this one towards... <coughs> Rick is slightly closer. So it's only to here. It's only to there. And it's only to there. But... This has got a lot more interesting. It has. Ooh, what is it? Um, hmm. We, that is the event cards. So now, melee phase, it goes up by one. And um, we will split the combat. I'll just have Sandra versus one and Derek versus the other. And the combat over here is hmm. Patrick and Carl. So you've got a Nesh, do you want to start with Carl? Uh, yeah, go on then. Alright, so Patrick is going to attack Carl. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I've got one white, one red. <coughs> I did two damage. Carl takes one. one damage. He's lost a health point. Only one. And now, up here, what's... I, I am... Oh. No, I am. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to shoot my handgun with Derek. So I have two white dice. I got a headshot. Walker's defense. He can't really defend it. Nope. That's surely that takes away the headshot. Though. No. What? That's a scam. And now, ammo test. Wee. I run out of ammo, so I just reloaded my gun and lost it. But that walker is dead. Congratulations. That yeah. puts the threat tracker up to 17. <coughs> and now everything within 10, which is every single, every single walker on the board, is going towards him. So... Straight into the car. That one's in contact with you. Straight into the car. Straight into the car. Straight into Rick. Straight into me. Hold on. Okay. Who won the combat? Patrick did. The car can't go back into one. You can. You can stand on the crate. Oh, okay, cool. That's not 
Yeah, well. <laughs> right. Um, so we got new combats to sort out here as well. But first off, I'm going to do Sandra. Sandra has a white and a red. It does damage of three. That is, she still wins the combat. Push this one back and put it prone. Right, Patrick has already fought, so he can only defend, which is two red dice. So he can only defend against the walker. <laughs> so he's one. The oh. walker did one. The walker can now uh, get knocked back again. And now Rick has to. Uh, Rick hasn't fought yet, has he? No. Okay then, so you can fight normally. So Carl's in your kill zone. <coughs> so you get one red, one white. Do the roll. Okay. Walker. Dead. Dead. Actually, kill it. Yes. So that's one. Gone. Now the end phase. There is nothing. That's the end of that turn. The beginning of turn six. Um, I will be taking the Anish back. Okay. And I will be starting by activating Patrick. Okay, and Patrick is his medium nerve needs to roll the panic dice he is terrified he can only perform one action this turn well my one action i'm going to run patrick in front of the car which is going to make noise and drag the closest walker straight into the back of the car and that's patrick's activations done who are you going for i'm going to start with activating rick and I'm gonna run Rick. Down to here. Yep, yeah, go for it. And I'm gonna shoot Sandra. Oh, you're taking a pop shot at Sandra, are you? Yeah. Let's make him face the right way then. Free damage. I have one. One white in defense. One. So it does two damage. So Sandra is back down to two health. Ah, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. We need to do your noise and your mayhem. So the noise first. The closest walker. Which is the one yeah, at the back of the car would shamble towards you so that's going to put that one in base contact with Derek and then your shooting would cause mayhem so all of these would shamble straight towards you six they're all touching the car already so it'll just move around it and this last one will just go straight towards you and bump into the truck as Sandra is in Derek's kill zone she uses his nerve value instead of her own. So I can activate normally. So I'm just going to sneak around actually into combat to help out Derek. And uh, Cole needs to roll the panic dice because he's only medium nerve. And you've got oh. Berserk. So you can act normally. The threat level goes up by one, but it's already at 18. And you get an extra red dice in melee if you end up being in combat in the melee phase. Okay, well, this is my... That I need a little thinking process here, so if I go... What, are they, what about the fly? Ah, uh, shush. I might not want it free there. So that goes to... He was going to there. I'm going to run Carl around to here. Right, so... Yeah. And you can get to here, yeah. And that's a clear view, so I can shoot Sandra again. So you want to shoot Sandra. Well, if you want to shoot Sandra, she's in combat. You have to roll a shield. Yes. Thank you. Right. Okay, now roll your attack dice. So, two damage. Defense. 
One. Two damage. One, two. Dead! Yes! Right. All three of these are right there. Plus there's a headshot so she doesn't come back. I need to do an ammo roll. Need to do a jam roll first. Uh, what does unreliable mean? Unreliable means you got to roll an action dice. If you fail it, the gun is jammed for the rest of the game. Headshots, you still have to do an ammo roll. So the gun is jammed. You've lost the gun. No more gun. You've caused mayhem. That's put the threat tracker up to 18. Those two walkers would come towards you and stop by the car. But they're still going to be in my kill zone. Let's just double check. So Mayhem brings them towards you, but no, they're still in the kill zone. So the event phase, kill zone, we'll move them straight in towards Derek. And now for the event card. We've got the Hunger, plus one, well we're already at 18. Each player rolls a blue dice and moves that many walkers towards the nearest survivor. I've got a niche, so I'll go first. Okay. I got one. Congratulations. None. What did you get? Oh, there's only one walker available at this moment in time. And if I remember correctly, we didn't actually move it last time when you shot the gun, so it should be in by the black car, which means it would have reached Derek easily. It's still re So we'll just make room. That walker moves in to Derek. I think I might win. And, I mean, it's going to make no difference, but... As you roll a three, three more walkers can be placed on the board. And now for the melee phase, Derek's up. Uh, that's one, three, six, ten. Ten dice. Two, three. One, two. Derek gets one white three. dice for melee and defense, so I'm going to roll the attack anyway. And I got a one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ten dice. I think he might be dead. Ouch, yeah. Derek is dead. Derek now becomes a prone walker. I think I'm... I think I win. And look at that. Rick and Carl have somehow stole it right at the death. I, I would have won, but because he killed Sandra... I win. And, I, and Derek ended up dead, which means I won by two as well. <laughs> Wee. Well, that was tutorial two. Surviving on your own from the Corset missions. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care. See you later.